I am very surprised at you people. I am really shocked that you guys didn't catch this. Two things in this video. Now, this is one day when he ended up finding the problem, and then a next day where he thought he solved the problem. Now, I'm very shocked at you people that you didn't catch this, and I'll explain it as the video goes on. Um, so, in regards to buying a cheap link, instrument like this you definitely have to be aware of possible hiccups because again if you're buying it directly from a retailer like Amazon or, or whatnot not all of them do setups so case in point while this is almost set up perfectly there is an issue with it and uh, what the fuck very simply put No issue on the 12. Kind of a little buzzy there on the 10. No issue there on the 12. No issue there on the 10. But let us go. Houston, we have a problem. And now remember this he is fretting on the 11th fret, okay? Not the 12th fret, the 11th fret. Luckily enough, I have a bit of um, knowledge in doing some fret work, so I will be able to touch this up. You blockhead! All right, now, please pay attention. Sorry, I just ate. <laughs> so, initially, I was working on this fret in front of the 12th. Okay, so remember what he said before. Luckily enough, I have a bit of um, knowledge in doing some fret work. And so I started knocking it down and knocking it down <clears throat> yesterday. And uh, I just found that I couldn't get it down properly. All right, so the best way to explain things, I guess, to Terry 3Gs is if we just go back to the old-fashioned way, crayons. So let me pick a color here. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Let's go with, what is this? Oh, I can't even see it. I don't have my glasses on. It's kind of like a brown. Isn't it a pretty color, Terry, don't you think? So we will make a fretboard. It's one side of the neck. The other side of the neck. You following me, Nee? Is it kind of like making a little bit of sense? So I don't have a silver, and I don't think the silver would work on camera, but let's go with um, green. That works, doesn't it? So let's make some frets on this fretboard. So we have one, two, three frets. Can you see that? Is it working for you? All right. Now, I want to number these frets because we have to. Now, he said fret number 10, 11, and 12. I'm using black magic markers so it kind of sticks out a little bit. So, are we getting this now? Is it kind of like making a little bit of sense? I hope so. So now we're going to use, uh, let's see, we'll use purple. Let's make this really colorful for Terry. These will be the guitar strings, or in his case, bass strings. So we'll have one, two, 
one, two, three, four. Those are four bass strings on a colorful bass neck. So we have the 10th fret, the 11th fret, and the 12th fret. Now, if Terry 3G's knows something about fretboards, he would have seen this. He would have known this. This would have been something that would have been kind of like, and I'm surprised a lot of you guys didn't catch this. I was hoping somebody would, but nobody did. All right, here we go. So Terry says if he frets, I'm going to use different colored here. So we'll go with an red, an orange, and I can't use purple. Let's see. We'll go with uh, yeah, kind of like a blue. All right. So first fret. Terry says that he will fret on the tenth, and then you heard a little bit of buzzing, not a lot. Okay, but just a little bit. So it was these two strings that he was having a problem with. So then he would fret on the 11th fret. Can you see that? Is it working? And he would have more buzzing. So what does that tell you? If you are fretting on the 11th fret and you've got a lot of buzzing going on someplace down the line that string is touching another fret which fret should have he been working on I was working on this fret in front of the 12th enough said <laughs> 